Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year 2023. Girl, I was like feeling scared of like not saying 2022, not 2022. 22 is gone, 2022 is gone, girl. I'm still having my Christmas tree over here. I think it looks cute and beautiful and I do not want to get rid of it. But anyway, in today's video, I want to um, share with you guys four more habits I picked up here in Sweden. I made a video one year and a half ago, which is one of my most watched videos. Okay, 19K views, which is not bad. But anyway, um, so I had, I still have this habits like I quit sugar, I uh, go to bed early, I wake up early and this kind of things. But today I'm bringing you guys four more habits that are pretty foody. So yeah, let's get started. I order food really often, which is insane because back in Barcelona, this is not something I used to do at all, like almost never or like never, I would say. Um, this is, was not something common at all to just order food, huh? Like, why would you do that? And can you cook yourself? Like, whatever, like, why would you do that? But here in Sweden, I got used to ordering food, especially when I'm home and I'm working from home or when we are together working from home and we are busy and we do not want to just cook. Ordering food is something I have as a habit. I can order food once per week or even twice sometimes when I don't want to cook and when I'm too busy. So yeah, this is something I do and I use to be someone that is not ordering food at all, like especially back in Barcelona. But here it's a different story and it's pretty common. I see people on social media all the time, like ordering food from Fedora or Uber Eats and so on. And it's comfortable and nice, but it can be a bit expensive. A few minutes later. As you can see, I'm, I just ordered some sushi. I'm working from home today. Today is actually Wednesday when I'm recording this video. That will be probably live on Friday. And so this is my food for today. Another habit that I picked up here in Sweden and it's totally, definitely different to what I used to do back in Barcelona. I always compare Barcelona to Stockholm since I moved. So it's really interesting to see how, how I shift. Uh, my habits, but another habit that I pick up here in Sweden is that I also eat out when I um, am at the office, when I work from the office, because here in Stockholm or just maybe in general in Sweden, it's really it's really common to have these lunch offers where you get pretty m a lot of food for like a reasonable price. So it's really tempting to just go and get lunch outside instead of just bringing your own food from home which is also something that is really comfortable but can get expensive i mean okay one day two days is fine depends on how long or how many days you work per week from the office or from the city or so on but it's really comfortable and um, yeah why not and you get really good deals here in stockholm for example so yeah, this is something I do and I like it. I enjoy it, but I also try to control myself and not to do it too often because it can get expensive as well. So yeah. Okay, the third habit uh, of the part two of all my habits is that I use uh, public transport almost always. Stockholm is such a well-connected city and it's so easy to just take a public transport, you don't know, a subway or a bus and go visit places or go to work or whatever it's just so so easy and so i got to used to it and we are barely use the car only when we just go outside stockholm but like public transport is something i i don't even know if to call it a habit but it's just something that i just constantly do and uh, it's amazing i love it Okay, last uh, habit I picked up here in Sweden and it's something I got inspired by Swedes basically because fika culture here in Sweden is freaking well respected. You better respect the coffee break. 
the, mm, the socializing thing. And at work, I have my Swedish team that uh, all the time at 4 p.m., around 3, 4 p.m., they would sit all together and have fika, which means like coffee break, literally. Everyone is having coffee and chit-chatting and having some, um, I don't know, um, bakery treats and have some coffee. And it is something that I adopted as well. And uh, I freaking respect the fika tradition. Mm, mm, mm. It's like, oh my God, the fika break, the coffee break, the... it's just so tempting. And the bad thing about this is that you drink so much coffee with this freaking fika breaks. Seriously. I mean, it's really difficult to say no to fika. Like, let's have a fika for in 15 minutes. Like, and hell yes. It's just so cozy and nice. And I adopted this habit and I like it and I enjoy it. And it's nice. It's not only about the coffee itself to just drink coffee, but it's also. It's just socializing, talk, talking to your, you know, co-workers or, or your friends or just go out and get and grab some coffee and take a walk, like, you know, just a coffee break, um, more than a coffee break. It's just, I don't know, it's so hard to explain. It's just, it's just such a beautiful habit. It's such a beautiful culture. It's, it's hard to explain, but, but Fika tradition and Fika thing is, it's amazing. So yeah, you guys, that was it. Mm, I hope you like this video. I really hope it pops up and gets as popular as my first video about my six habits I picked up in Sweden part one uh, that I published one year and a half ago, I would say. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, I see you guys in the next video.